Good morning, everyone. Hi, good morning. I'm Carolyn, and I am your host. Welcome to Weekly Minis, your bite-sized workshop on the hottest acro topics. You can reference all of our previous Weekly Minis and more amazing content on our Acrobatic Arts channel on YouTube. So this morning, if you have any questions while we're live, please drop them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer those for you at the end of the presentation or in follow-up. This week's scheduled weekly mini, How to Use the Acro Dance Resource Center in Class with Mandy Yip, has been postponed to next week, and we do apologize for any inconvenience. As you might notice at Acrobatic Arts this month, our theme is partnerships and friendships. You'll notice that in light of that, we have contests and initiatives with that in mind. We're also posting about acro dance partnering and partner tricks. And we see through your social and ours that many of you are using some class time to explore the possibilities. And teachers, we love it. Please keep sharing and showing us what you're working on. It's inspiring. And as this amazing community works together, um, we learn and grow from each other. So that is awesome. Keep it up. Now, speaking of partnering and inspiration, our little gift to you today is we are presenting back by popular demand one of our most watched episodes, Intermediate Partnering with Trish, Thompson Creamer. If you saw it before, it's a great opportunity to watch it again. You'll definitely find something in it that you didn't see the first time. It's jam packed with ideas. And if you haven't seen it, you'll want to stay tuned. And like I said, click share with somebody who you care about, who this could really help as well. Now, Trisha's background is in competitive artistic gymnastics with a well-established reputation in that field. She's also built a strong reputation in dance with a focus on acrobatics. She's a nationally renowned teacher, choreographer, and adjudicator. She is a member of the acrobatic arts faculty where she's involved in the discussion of the syllabus, running modules, and traveling across North America to teach acro workshops. Uh, so we're going to join Trish now in her studio um, in Stony Creek, Ontario, which also keeps her very busy. This is a live recording. I'll queue up the video and I'll be back at the end. Enjoy. Ontario, Canada, how are things? Pretty good. It's a little chilly out here today, but uh, I think we'll be okay. We're going to, you know, we're going to warm up soon. That's exciting. Yeah. What, are you, what are you showing us today? Intermediate partnering. We're going to do uh, some intermediate partnering. We're going to kind of start at the basic level and, and progress it up to an intermediate. So it kind of breaks the skill down so that you can work with your students and hopefully you can even take it to the advanced level. But we're not going to get into too many advanced lifts today. So we're just going to keep it uh, more in that basic intermediate level. Yeah. Okay. Great. So well, like at this time, yep. I'll get out of the way and let you take the stage. Awesome. So I'd like to uh, introduce you some of my demonstrators for today. So I have uh, Abby. This is Abby and Izzy. Now, these guys are twins, so I often do get their names mixed up a little bit, um, but uh, I can, it's hard to identify them too when they have a mask on. But this is Abby and this is Izzy. Next up, we have Ophelia and then we have Luca. Okay, so we're going to give you guys some lifts that hopefully you can take um, back and break down into your classes. Some of them will be lifts that I'm sure you've seen in recital pieces or competition pieces. And I'm sure some of them are lifts that you have already been working on. So let's get started. And we're going to start off with um, Ophelia and Luca. Okay, so we're going to just start off with a basic uh, diamond lift. Some people like to refer to this as the triangle lift. Actually, if you guys can just move down a little bit, that would be great. Then we can get a better um, footage of you there. Okay, so we're going to just start off with a basic diamond lift. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Uh, so Ophelia is just going to step a little bit closer into uh, Luca. Luca is going to place his hands above uh, Ophelia's knees. Ophelia is going to place her hands on... Luca's knees, press down, keeping her arms nice and tight. She's going to bring her toes to head, execute that, pull your shoulders back just a little bit more. There you go. And extend your legs and come on down. Okay, so that's just kind of where your basic lift is. Um, what I like to do is always uh, try to exit the lift different than the way you enter it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back up into that lift. Okay, and we're going to exit through a front walkover. So what's going to happen is Ophelia is going to do her toes to head. She's going to come down. She's going to bend her arms so that she still has the support from Luca's knees, which stay nice and tight. And she just exits through a front walkover just to give it a different look. Okay, 
Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually incorporate three people into this lift. Okay, so we're going to take Abby here and Ophelia is going to go into it the same way as she has. All right, I'm just going to move a little bit off to the side here. Here we go. And um, Abby is going to come into this. She's going to place her hands on Ophelia's wrists. Ophelia is going to bring herself up. She's going to kick herself all the way up and over and over. Abby's just going to help execute that just so that it has the same uh, feel as the front walkover, but you are incorporating uh, three people. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take this and we want to uh, exit it into what we call a reverse Superman. Okay, so now we're just going to switch Abby out for Izzy. And we're going to start this kind of the same way. So Ophelia is going to come back up into uh, her lift on Luca. Okay. And then Izzy's going to roll down to the floor. She's going to place her shoulders as close to um, Luca's feet as possible. And Ophelia is going to kick herself over. She can straddle up, press herself up to straddle. You can see how Izzy has placed her arm, her hands on Ophelia's shoulders, keeping her arms nice and straight. Ophelia then um, arches over, releases her hands. You can see how Izzy's feet are supporting um, Ophelia's hands. And there we have what we call a reverse Superman. Okay, so you guys can come down. And now you can take this and you can think to yourself, what can we give our first base here? Just so that they're not uh, lying there and waiting for this to be executed. So we're gonna have Luca straddle up through to a forearm stand, place his hands into Ophelia's legs and just to create a different shape, okay? Just so that it has more of a rolling effect with this lift. So Ophelia is gonna go up. We're gonna do the exact same entrance as we did before. She's gonna come, you can do that with two feet. You can do that with one foot. You can change the, the look of that however you want. She's gonna come up into this uh, position here. She's gonna go back into that reversed uh, Superman. Luke is going to pull himself away. He's going to press himself up into a forearm stand, placing his feet in Ophelia's hands. And that just gives you a completely different shape and a different ending to that. All right, good. So it's, it's just uh, growing on that basic idea that you have. We started off with that simple diamond lift and then it just evolves into what you, you can do with your intermediate students. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to um, the assisted uh, role. Okay, so this is gonna involve Ophelia and Luca. This is a real basic um, lift, uh, but it kind of has like a, a flair to it. There's something about it that I really do, um, I do like. Oh, I think you're the other way there, Luca. There you go, yep. And um, so you can take this and really speed and trust is the, the factor that you want your students to have in this. But we're gonna kind of do it at a moderate speed just to kind of break it down for you so that we can see what the skill is. So Ophelia is gonna place her hands into uh, Luca. She's going to kind of jump up, tuck her head in, and she's going to place her hips on Luca's shins and just step out. That's it. And like I said, speed uh, would really give a little bit more flair. So can you guys try to do that a little bit faster? Okay. And here we go. We just jump up, push, and around. You got it. Nicely done. Okay. So now we're going to take that. We're going to have the twins come out. We're going to have Abby and Izzy come out. And they're going to do the exact same thing. But instead of placing the hips on to the shins, we're actually going to be placing our hips onto our partner's feet, just to give it a little bit more height and to give it a little bit of a different uh, texture. Okay, so here we go. And up and over, that's it, good. And then if you're asking yourself or wondering like, you know, what could we do out of there? You can actually take the exit of that and you can just combine it into a tumbling pass. So um, can you just do a cartwheel back cancer and walk out out of that? All right, so here we'll just incorporate that and I'll get out of the way here. So we're gonna come through, whoops, and around and back, that's it, okay? So just watch this, the, the transition coming out of that. I think you guys were a little bit short on that exit. Okay, awesome. So now we're going to go into our basic Superman hold, okay? So this is going to also involve uh, Abby and Izzy. This is, uh, again, a lift that I'm sure you see, um, you work with your students in class and that you see, you know, on your recital stages or competition stage. 
just basically we're going to go press up to our superman hold one before you guys go into that one of the most important things that you want to remember is our base here you want to make sure that our feet are in a turnout position in that v shape to follow the shape of the pelvis if you have your feet in this parallel shape the toes are going to jab into the stomach which isn't really comfortable for anyone right so we're going to keep our feet in that nice turnout position working along this the the shape of the pelvis and we're just going to grab hands we're going to come up into a nice superman lift stretch your arms place it down good lift 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 good and come on down good all right, so again, just going back to what I said before, always trying to exit differently than you enter. So we're gonna take this basic Superman and we're going to just pass it through and um, exit through a front walkover. All right, so here we go. Up, good, we're gonna slide our hands down to our partner. Our base is going to grab onto our shoulders, okay? Always here into the collarbone. Our hands provide that support so that the hips can pass over the shoulders safely. All right, now we're gonna take this. I'm gonna use Ophelia and Luca. And we're gonna do the same lift that the twins just did. But this time what we wanna do is we wanna take off of two feet and we want the hands to, to um, make contact after that fact. So when you saw the twins do, do it, you actually saw them place the hands together and then they lifted the legs off the ground. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna kind of do a little bit of a jump into that. And what we wanna do is we wanna kind of like just pass through that Superman position and we wanna exit through a front walkover. So here we go, Ophelia and Luca, she's gonna go up and over. That's it. Okay. And you can make that fast. And that, that's a nice dynamic punch in uh, choreography when you get your, uh, your dancers to really be able to trust themselves. So what we're going to do now is instead of grabbing the arms, we're going to do the same thing. And Ophelia is just going to keep her arms out into second position. Um, again, this is something that takes a little bit of trust. So Ophelia and Luca are kind of new working together. So we're still working on building the trust up. But Ophelia is going to um, find that in her and she's going to try to keep her arms out to the side. And we're going to do the same thing with a little bit more speed and a little bit more punch, having her arms stay out to the side so it looks more of a, like a fall. OK, so here we go and we go out, out and over. Let's try that one more time. I must have uh, talked that up too much. Here we go. Ready and out and over. There you go. So it just gives it a different feel. It's the same thing, but it just eliminates the, um, the touching of the arms with each other. Okay, so now we are going to move into a chest stand on our backs. Okay, so the twins are going to come out. And what they're going to do is they're going to go into a lunge position, opposite legs, deep lunge, keeping their, their foot kind of relatively center. They're gonna push up through their back to provide a nice flat surface. And Ophelia is just gonna come through. She's gonna wrap her arms around the outside of their legs, and she's just gonna go into a nice chest balance. So here we go. And we're gonna go up and hold that position. And then the twins can lift their head up just to create a nice picture there. Good. And you can exit out of that. Great. Okay, now I'm gonna have you guys turn to the side. And now we're gonna do the same thing, but this time, instead of being on our um, chest, we're actually gonna do it on a forearm position. So Ophelia is gonna place her hands on the center part of the twins back, and her hands are gonna be slightly over the top of their shoulders, okay? So we're just gonna go back down into this base position, and Ophelia is just gonna bring herself up and over into a forearm stand. Here we go, up and over, great. All right, and she can exit out of that. Awesome. So then again, you know what, just to give it a different bit of a flair, she could just exit out of that forward, and then that can also become a continuous movement too. So can you do that again and have that come out like a front walkover? That's it, good, and come on out, that's it. Okay, so there is a bit of a height difference there too. So you can always be creative with the way that they uh, make contact with the floor just to kind of eliminate a little bit of that jumping there. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to now incorporate uh, a third person into this. Okay, 
And what we're going to do is Ophelia is going to go up into that forearm stand. Luca's going to come around. He's going to put her legs underneath his arms, provide some resistance so that Ophelia can come up. And she's going to um, exit or and finish that in an arabesque position. OK, so here we go. So she's going to go back up into this forearm balance. Yep, and we're going to incorporate Luca. He's going to come around and he's going to just bring his arms over her legs. He's going to provide that resistance. She's going to come up and she's going to just swing that leg all the way up and through into an arabesque. All right. So now let's take that and think about where can we go with that. So let's take that now and have Ophelia even follow through with that even more. And she's going to actually go over top of Luca's shoulders onto his thigh and he's going to support her in a handstand. All right, so let's see what that looks like. You got it. He's going to come through. He's going to bring his arms around, give her that support. She's going to pull herself up all the way through that arabesque. And he now she's going to continue the motion over top into that picture. Nice. So it's kind of awkward though when I do watch that, how these guys are kind of stuck on that knee stand. So let's think about how we can incorporate them into this. Okay, so that it's continuing. These, these lifts are, are more of a revolving transition um, in your choreography. So I'm gonna have them kind of come down into the floor and then we'll just front walk over so that as Ophelia exits that handstand, the twins are actually um, mirroring her image by doing a front walk over. So let's put that together. All right, and then you know what, Luca, what we'll do is we'll have you continue it and finish it off if you can uh, come around and do a front aerial over Ophelia. All right, so here we go. Let's put this all together. This is like a little mini routine. So here we go. So we have Ophelia going up into this forearm stand. Of Luca comes up. He's gonna bring her around all the way up. You got it. Nice, that's it. Come through, hold it. There you go. And let's come out of it like a front walkover. And then we'll come around and Luca will just exit through front aerial. There, great. Nice job. All right, guys. Now we have just one more lift for you because this is our, just a mini little uh, session that we have for you today. So we are going to take this um, into the handstand on the knees. All right, so again, this is something that you've seen before. If you guys could just move down slightly this way. Yep, even a little bit more. There we go, perfect. All right, so this is just handstand on the knees. All right, our partner sitting on the floor is going to uh, just kind of slightly bring their head to the side so that they're not in line with our dancer going over top because it would be painful on your neck to have somebody kind of doing a handstand over top of your head. So Luca's gonna turn his head to the side. He's going to keep his hands here ready to grab onto Ophelia's hips to be able to lift her up and assist her into a nice handstand hold, okay? So you can come out of that. Good, and then we're gonna think, let's come out of it differently than we go into it. So what's gonna happen is Luca's going to stretch his legs slowly and Ophelia is gonna exit through a front walkover. And he just slowly brings his legs down and over. There you go, okay? All right, so now we're gonna think, you know, how can we make this even um, something different than that? So we are now going to incorporate three people, okay? All right, yep. So this is Abby. She's going to bring her, um, she's gonna face Luca and she's gonna lay on her back, all right? So she's gonna go down onto the floor and we're gonna go into this exact same way that we just did. So um, Ophelia is gonna go up into that handstand, right? Now, keeping in mind the feet turning out, Ophelia, Luke is going to help control Ophelia over through an arch position. And Abby grabs onto Ophelia's uh, legs making sure that her arms are kind of staying over top of her shoulders. As a base, you always want to make sure that your arms, your wrists are always stacked over top of your shoulders and that the backs of your legs are always in line with your hips, okay? This is the most secure position that you want your base to be in. All right, so you just saw how the transition uh, came from one person to the other. 
And we exit up there. I must have left you guys in that position a little bit too long. All right. All right. Now we're going to take this and we're going to make it a little bit different. Okay. So we're going to actually um, repeat this again. But I always think to myself, after the first dancer releases the flyer to the second dancer, what do they do? So let's think about something that they can do. So let's kind of go back to where we had Luca, where he went up and set forearm uh, stand uh, at the diamond lift. Let's take him up to a handstand this time. And Ophelia, if you can grab his legs and place them on her hips and then to release the arms. And we'll just kind of see the, the shape that we can create this way okay so we're going to go into this the same way so again this is your basic lift and now you're incorporating that third person which is going to make it kind of that beginner intermediate right and then we're going to bring luca up into that handstand you got it there you go and place those hips there you go and take your arms off there. and you've just created a really nice shape there with all three dancers great Okay, and then now our last and final lift for you today, let's think about how we can um, incorporate four people, okay? So we're gonna bring Izzy out. And I feel like you guys just maybe move a little bit this way. That's perfect, awesome. Okay, so let's take this lift that we started with two people and then we incorporated three people and now we're gonna incorporate four people. So, um, if you know if I could fit more kids in the screen, I could incorporate five or six, but we just kind of left it with four for today. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off the same way as we did before with our basic lift all the way up. OK, into that hand sit on the knee. We're going to exit through into the Superman position. Luca helps to switch um, Ophelia's shoulders over where Izzy now grabs onto her hands and they execute it into a nice Superman lift and you guys can just come on down. Okay, so to think about what how we can kind of finish that off. Um, we'll just have Abby and Luca shoulder roll um backwards and you can come out of it like a front walk over just to kind of give it some sort of conclusion to this all right so we're going to do the same thing again so we're going to go up into this handstand position you got it we're going to come over and watch the transition of how luca kind of guides her over you got it she executes that and here we go and over into her shoulders and over and we finish there you got it okay so for us, it's really just kind of taking a basic lift and kind of just building on it. It's kind of like uh, Lego, you know, you get like one piece and you stack another one and you keep going and going until you kind of get like um, some sort of uh, rolling transition that will help um, connect your dancers and uh, I don't know, kind of give a different flair to uh, whatever piece that you're working on. And that's all we have for you today. Wow, that was Awesome. Thank you so much, Trish. I'm just going to check in the feed here while uh, we're just transitioning a bit here and um, I'm going to read any comments or questions. So if you just hold tight. Yeah, uh, for sure. So wonderful. People were saying that um, three, Charlene says that um, she has more trouble with three people and there's so much inspiration here. So uh, I think we could all agree on that. Awesome job, thank you so much. Now we have a question and so I'm gonna have to jog your, your experience here only because it's hard to explain what people saw in typing um, and translate that to what the question is. But Heather sure. asks, okay, you did a three partner stunt. Uh, she would wrap her arms around the two bases into more like a shoulder stand. And I guess the question is, and maybe this will help, in that position for that stunt, can you show the cartwheel transition into it? Does that help you in any way? So it's a three partner stunt. Nope. She would wrap her arms around the two bases into more like a shoulder stand. Does Did we do that lift today? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> she was asking about a specific lift. Okay. Position, but maybe it's, um, it's too hard. Is to it this the lunge one? And instead of going forward, yes. you would go sideways? They were in a lunge. Okay. Do you want to try that? Okay. 
And maybe Heather, while you're watching, you can let us know if we're on the right track here. That was the chest stand that we showed. So it wasn't a shoulder stand, it was a chest stand. Okay. So then the question was, <laughs> uh, this is live. So just give me a second. That's Sorry. okay. I'm just trying to find the question was, um, there's a lot of comments. People were really impressed. Um, uh, the question is, I'm getting there. That's okay. In that position for that stunt, can you show the cartwheel transition into it? Does that exist? If we made it a shoulder stand, possibly. Okay. Can you do it that way? If you put your arm, you'd have to, I don't know where your arm would go though. Try it. Or you'd have to go through them that way. Yeah, that way. Now turn yourself sideways. Like, I don't know. I'm not sure how that would work. Okay. Well, we tried. It's it's a bit of we get lost in translation between what people can type and explain because there's so amazing uh, everything that you presented and um, and you know what if she wants to if she wants to reach out to you and yeah. then uh, maybe if I can read it or I can dissect it then we can work on it I can send a video and then maybe we can help her out. Sure. And as everybody knows, if you're watching, this does replay um, on several different places we talked about before, but it does live here um, on our Facebook page as well. So people can go back and watch as well. But certainly if people have questions, they're always welcome to reach out. Somebody said, not a skill question, but the studio is beautiful. I think we all agree. Uh, is that a custom mat? But maybe this is something that um, you could answer afterwards. Um, it's just about the this map. This is just like a, well, I've had this mat for 30 years. It's just a rollout mat. It's vinyl. It's more like a wrestling mat. Yeah. That's the question. All right. Awesome. Um, there we go. So that is the end of that presentation uh, with Trish and her team. Weren't they amazing? They were incredible. And as we watch it, maybe you saw it the first time, you can see that there is so much uh, quality value um, and that she continues to bring um, more and more as it goes. You think they're done and then they add on another transition. Um, and so it's quite amazing. So um, I just wanted to wrap things up thanking Trish again and her students for that valuable time and for you for being here. If you are um, interested in expanding your studio's student population and enhancing dancer results, skills, and potentials, and learning more about lifts and partnering, um, please join us at Acrobatic Arts for our upcoming and online uh, online and in-person opportunities. Our North American summer tour is coming. We may be coming to a city near you and we are selling out. Teachers don't miss out. Uh, join us again next week. Thank you so much for being here now, but join us again next week where we'll be talking with Acrobatic Arts founder and CEO Mandy Yip. She will be back uh, about how to use the Acro Dance Resource Center in your class. Join us again next week. See you then. Thank you everyone for being here. Have a great week.